I had to decide where to spend Easter, and the choice was obvious. In the mountains, of course. If you're willing to work for it, you don't need a snowmobile, snowcat, helicopter, gondola, or chairlift to go snowboard. It's a challenge to start at sea level, but all it takes is putting one foot in front of the other. So I've just got up to the cabin and you can see how buried it is in the snow. I had to shovel the door out for a little while and uh, it started snowing as I got up here, which is really beautiful, just softly falling flakes. The way up was pretty steep. The, uh, the board spent more time on my bag than on my feet and this is where I'll be staying the night and plan to go up a couple mountains tomorrow morning. So this is Lost Lake Emergency Shelter at the headwaters of Kalani Creek. It was built by John Harvey in 1990, so it's over 30 years old. Built in part of a program by Porto Camp Wilderness, which brought court-ordered young offenders into the wilderness and taught them survival skills, which is pretty cool. It's a great program to get kids out there and learn how to be competent in the outdoors. It's even been used by Lions Bay Search and Rescue in the last year when they were locating a lost hiker and used as a station to warm up before getting uh, flown out with the lost hiker they found. But what a beautiful view. I can't wait to get up even higher and see it from the top tomorrow. And uh, I love these long days, but I'm just gonna hit the hay now so I can be fully rested. Good morning, Nina. How are you doing? Good morning, niece. You do have a good sleep? North Shore mountains are really humbling. It goes to show how serious and how steep they get so quickly. You know, I'm entering some terrain which is like pretty complex and challenging. And there's patches of ice and, uh, you know, steep drops on both sides, some cornices. But I'm just picking my way along piece by piece. And it's really nice to catch glimpses across how sound. I can even see Squamish now, and uh, hopefully things clear up at the top. There's patches of clouds swirling around and patches of blue sky.
Deke's Peak. Wow. This is incredible up here. Unreal. <laughs> we did it. I think the elevation is around 1,700 meters. That's literally starting at nearly sea level. The cold killed my drone controller battery prematurely. Across the way I can see both uh, Brunswick and Hat Mountain which I've climbed. <clears throat> But uh, Windsor will have to wait for another day. I'll have to come back. It is dramatic up here. Dramatic backdrops basically all around. How's that for Easter pow turns? In April, still making pow turns with a backdrop like that is unreal. It was so beautiful on the way down and I just got back to the emergency shelter so refueling a little bit, repacking before I head out. Snowboarding on mountains on the Howsound Crest Range right above the ocean. All in front of you is just blue water and you're up top making turns on snow and it's just incredible. So that was a big day, but highly enjoyable, very fun. Now time to head back down. Every time I go to the mountains, they make me feel insignificant, along with a sense of accomplishment, which is an interesting mix. It's the result of a physical battle, a struggle with nature, resulting in sweat, sore muscles, and a calm, elated high. A renewed focus. And there hasn't been one time I regret. <laughs>